Hey everybody, this is Jordan Machado, aspiring biologist and hopefully a future herpetologist. And today we're actually going to be talking about the Arctic morph. So the Arctic morph is a co-dominant morph. And what that means is that when they only have one copy of the trait, it looks one way, but when you have two copies, it creates what's called a superform. So this is an example of a very good expression arctic. Sometimes it can be hard to tell an arctic apart from a normal, which is why when they hatch, the best thing you can do is be able to compare them to their siblings. But if you actually take a close look at his head stamp and all of his markings, he's got a black outline around every single one. And after that black outline, there's this white faded pattern that just goes around every single brown marking that he has. And those are the main distinct um, things to look for in an arctic. Otherwise, he technically is a normal. However, he has one copy of the arctic gene, which makes him look like this. Most morphs are uh, recessive morphs, which means you need two copies for anything to show. But similar to the conda gene, arctic is a codominant gene. So let me go ahead and grab a super arctic and show you guys what the super form looks like because it is breathtaking. Okay, so here we have a super arctic and this girl is already a year old so she's really starting to show off the beautiful cookies and cream contrast that they start to express. So when arctics, um, specifically super arctics, are born, they are almost completely black snakes. However, every single time that they shed, the contrast between their markings and their other scales becomes more and more severe. So that by the time they're adults, they become this almost black and white snake. And the white is very, very strong as well. And she's already a year old, so she's shed quite a few times. And there is a strong chance that she will continue to get more black and more white as she ages. So for her to be a super arctic, as mentioned earlier, it means that she is the super form of the codominant trait arctic. So she has two copies, which means that no matter who you pair her with, every single one of her babies will get one copy of the arctic. So it makes it a little easier instead of having to compare siblings. But let's look at both of them side by side now. So over here, we've got the super arctic. So it has two copies of the arctic gene. You have a very strong white background and the black really does pop. A lot of contrast. And then over here, we've got the arctic. And you can see it's not completely taken over to the point of making a black and white snake, but the white does start creeping in and it starts creating that contrast. And the black does get outlined around here on the markings. Another interesting thing to see is that their bellies are also different. He still has mostly what looks like a normal belly with black scales and the checkered yellowish markings. However, it does seem to be a little more pale in comparison to normals. But then when you look at her belly, it's purely black and white. Absolutely no yellow to be found. That's pretty much gonna conclude our video, introducing the Arctic gene. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later.